Hello everybody and welcome to our weekly program Languages of the World. Here we are once again for another episode of English and today we've got a very interesting topic to discuss but let me first welcome our guest Ms. Heba. Hello Ms. Heba and welcome Hi, yes. to the program. Hi. Uh, I guess you have something interesting for us today. Yeah, it's interesting for those who uh, study stories yeah. and those who are interested in stories, also in writing stories. Mm, this would be interesting, yeah, literature, of course. Mm -hmm. But exactly, specifically stories, not yeah. plays or something like this. Yeah, so we're going to learn uh, about the elements, uh, for example, yeah, of, of writing story. the story. Yeah. Yes, the story elements. Yeah. Or what we can find in a story. Anasr al qissa Yeah, that's right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Actually, writing a story is not easy because Sometimes people forget things. Yeah. You have to consider or think about things while you are writing the story. Mm -hmm. For example, what could be the most important thing if we are writing a story? Mm -hmm. You tell me. Yeah. Well, there are so many things. Uh, for example, um, the setting. Good. The, and the setting is a place and the time and yes. the time yeah. exactly mm -hmm. so I have to put us or set a place uh -huh. or set a time sometimes the story has Il no time yes well zaman yes sometimes the place could be on land in the space uh, in a forest or something like this mm -hmm. and sometimes the time could be in the past mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. in the present so in a day only a day a lot of the a lot of years so it differs from mm -hmm. story to another so we have to set a place and a time mm -hmm. also what's most important of course the characters sure sure mm -hmm. the characters that are going to be in the story and uh, talking about the characters there are main characters yes there are secondary characters mm, and these characters could be people mm -hmm. or could be animals yeah or could be anything. Aliens, <laughs> anything. Yeah. yeah, so I have characters. Mm -hmm. After the characters, I have a plot. Mm -hmm. And by a plot, I mean the events mm -hmm. or the story itself. What's going on? What's happening? We call it the Hapka Dramia, something like this. Yeah, I don't know the Arabic word for it, but the Ahdes, yes, the Ahdes. Mm, yeah, uh, the events. Yeah, the events. Then we come, every story. Every traditional story has a problem, right? Yeah. There should be a problem, like the princess is kidnapped by the dragon or something like this. So this is a problem. Mm -hmm. And this we call a conflict. Yeah. Sura, mm -hmm. a conflict. We will go through this, but I am giving you a summary. Yeah. Then, after there is a problem, what happens? Usually some events before some they events reach, a, to reach solution. a solution for mm. the problem. Maybe they never reach a solution. Sometimes. Maybe, and we call it open-ending mm -hmm. story. But actually, in the stories, the traditional ones, we usually have an ending. We can say that the strings become yes. to get untied. Untangled, yes. Yeah, or, or untangled. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. And this, and here comes the resolution what we call the end of the story. Mm -hmm. The resolution is like the solution of the problem, but in narrative or in narration, we call it resolution. Mm -hmm. We come to not a solution to the problem, but something that's good for all the people in the story. Mm -hmm. And we have two things related to the story, like the point of view. Who is telling the story? Am I telling a story about myself? Or am I telling a story about someone else? So it is the point of view. Is it mm -hmm. first point of view? I am telling my story, or it is another point of view, I'm telling about someone else. Mm -hmm. Then the theme, or the lesson, I have learned from the story. The morale. The morale, yes. Mm -hmm. Or the topic of the story. Is it about good and bad, or is it about a friendship, mm -hmm. is it about motherhood? So the morale or the lesson I've learned from the story. Mm -hmm. And this we call the theme of it. Yeah. Okay, we can go through each one. Actually, the setting, as we said, is where and when of the story, the time and place during which the story takes place. Mm -hmm. So, where means the place and when means the time. Sometimes, it could be, uh, it could have details that describe furniture, scenery, while I'm describing, for example, the house of Cinderella. Uh -huh. It's a kind of, of setting. I'm describing the furniture, 
I'm describing scenery, the places, the landscape, the forest around, the customs. The customs means, uh, you know, the, the costumes. The, uh, you mean? Yes, yeah, here the costumes, yeah, the, yeah, the clothes, costumes, transportation. Yeah. Uh -huh. how they go from somewhere to another, the clothing. Now, uh, customs, uh, not the costumes, customs uh, like traditions. Yeah, yeah. We have customs and costumes, customs are traditions and costumes are clothing. Uh -huh. Okay, the language they use, the weather around them, the time of the day or of the year. So, all of these are kind of setting. So, if I am talking, for example, about a story in Japan, Mm -hmm. Okay, it has certain customs like yeah. the tea ceremonies. I have to know about this. Mm -hmm. All of these are cool settings. Yeah. Then everything related yes. to the time and to the place uh, is called the setting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the function or the importance of this setting? It's co create a mood or trans our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So if I'm talking about a dark forest, for example dark forest mm -hmm. so what mood would it give it me would it give gloomy me? <laughs> gloomy yes so the function of setting is to give me a mood or yeah. atmosphere of the story and uh, i guess uh, this requires uh, great skill on the part uh, of the authors or exactly. writer uh, to let uh, the reader uh, you know uh, enjoy it to let the reader uh, believe uh, the story and to let the, the reader live the exactly, story. Exactly, live in the story. Too. Yeah. Uh, okay. And also to show the reader different way of life. As we have said, if you are giving a story about an uh, Indian one or Japanese one, uh, this setting makes you like you are living or you are, it shows you a different way of life because we are different in traditions and customs. So it gives you a different way of life. and It makes the action more real so that you can feel yourself in the story. Mm -hmm. All of these are functions of settings. And it is uh, the source of the struggle or the conflict. If we, for example, say that uh, the setting is a forest that has witches, for example. So this will give us a source for the conflict that can happen. Yeah. And it gives us also the idea. So the setting is very, very important in a story. Mm -hmm. Then this mood that we talked about is a feeling that the author or the writer gives the reader. It could be uh, frightened, it can make you, the, the reader frightened, sad, it can make me um, laugh or think a happy thoughts. So it depends and we can say it's a sad story or it's a happy story. Mm -hmm. Then we come to the second most important thing in any story, the characters in it. Yeah, sure. Of course, the people whether they are people or animals, mm -hmm. the person, animals and things mm -hmm. participating in a story. Actually, some stories have things, uh, like yeah. for example, it could be a penny, uh, it could be a chair uh, telling the story. Yeah. So we have these kinds of stories. Uh, and I'd like uh, to stress on the word uh, character. Yeah. We say character, not character. Oh as no. some people oh say, no. it's, character. Oh yeah. it's character. It's yeah, character. Of course. Uh, it's characters that are in a story, a movie, uh, TV series, whatever. Uh, these are called uh, characters. Mm -hmm. And of course, the characters could be good or bad. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The, uh, the bad is called the villain. The villain or the antagonist. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, the good one is called protagonist. Yeah. These are kind of literary you know, terms. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, uh, yes. في في yes. 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 So, but this was in the old movies or old stories. The villain has certain features. Mm -hmm. And the good evil one, ones. Evil ones. Evil yeah. ones. Ah. Uh, the protagonist or the hero, mm -hmm. as we can say, is the main character. The one with whom the reader identifies. Ah, the hero or the good one right. is the one that you say that it's like yourself. Yeah. You like imagine that you are the hero or the good one. Yeah. The one yeah. the story depends on. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Who will mm -hmm. solve everything and will make everybody happy. But the villain or the bad one who is against this hero all the way trying to uh, hurt him mm -hmm. or try to cause pain to him. 
like for example in Spider-Man mm -hmm. you have Spider-Man as a hero and this scientist met scientist as his opponent or his villain yeah yes. okay let's take a break and yeah. see uh, some scene from uh, the movie holiday in Rome and we'll be back okay يعني طبعا ده مشهد من الفيلم اللي اتعمل بالطريقه المصريه بقى فيلم يوم من عمري تمصيره يعني, آه. يعني yes and we can see here we have the character the, the lady character the female character and the male character mm -hmm. and this is so traditional in a story that you should have a male and a female mm -hmm. they may fall in love and then the plot starts yeah and this gets us to the plot actually and the plot is the events what is going on the organized sequence of events mm -hmm. you know sequence means uh, yes, yes. Yeah, that make up the story itself it is uh, describe the structure how the story goes on is it going in the future so uh, maybe there are some flashbacks you know the flashback mm -hmm. okay there could be flashbacks and events and action in the story so and flashbacks so when uh, in the story during the story we yes. go back in time at a time in the past when thir certain things happened exactly mm -hmm. and this part, the parts of the plot are like divided into uh, parts yeah not just events coming after each other no they are divided like for example we have first the exposition or the introduction mm -hmm. in the introduction you have the characters the setting and maybe a hint about the problem that mm -hmm. can come mm -hmm. so if you are writing a story at the beginning you set you tell who are the characters you pave the way yeah you do it exactly this uh, character yes to uh, the story itself so you mention the characters a certain maybe a hint about the problem mm -hmm. so that you can start then we come to the rising action and the rising action means uh, that there is a conflict or a problem and events start to accumulate uh -huh. and rise you feel that there is fire yeah, starting yeah. <laughs> and you are going to be thrilled by the actions mm -hmm. then you come to the maximum of this thrill by the climax and the climax is the highest point of interest yeah the like, climax yeah like for example if we consider Cinderella mm -hmm. what, what could be the climax mm -hmm. of the story mm -hmm. when Cinderella goes to the party and then leaves the prince her and leaves her show show exactly so this could be the climax mm -hmm. when is of when is it a highest point of interest or mm -hmm. suspense actually uh -huh. the highest suspense. yeah exactly mm -hmm. then after the climax we want to resolute or we want to go back uh, to the end of the story we have the falling action as we had the rising action we have mm -hmm. the falling one as if sliding down mm -hmm. so this the tension becomes easier the events becomes untangled mm -hmm. as you said and the characters began to resolve the conflict or solve the problem mm -hmm. and by the end we have the resolution as we said and the ends are all tied up and the conflict is solved and they live happily ever after mm -hmm. and this is what we have of course in the classic stories mm -hmm. it has a nice diagram as you can see here you know like this man is going up then he will reach the climax and falling then the resolution it's a diagram we do for the plot yeah like exposition in the beginning the rising action the climax then the falling oh, action, action then the resolution mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, as you said, uh, there is no resolution. It's an open-ended. Uh, maybe uh, yes. I don't want. End. Yes. Uh, then, when we come to uh, the conflict, actually, in a story, it's not necessarily that there is a conflict between man and man, mm -hmm. a bad man and evil man. No. Sometimes there are different kinds of conflicts. Like, for example, we can have a conflict between nature and man. Mm -hmm. like for example some a hero is going through difficulties to reach uh, somewhere like Hercules mm -hmm. when he has some adventures the conflict could be with mountains with natural disasters mm -hmm. you know with uh, a lot of things that can face him a dragon mm -hmm. the conflict could be between a man and animal mm 
it doesn't have to be between uh, one person and another. No, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Maybe part of the conflict between man and other. It could be self-conflict. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going to say now. The conflict could be external, as we said. Or internal. Or internal. Mm -hmm. The external is called outside force. Like a person, could be a person, as against you, group, mm -hmm. animal, nature, okay, uh, or anything non-human. Or the conflict could be internal between yourself. Mm -hmm. Here, character versus character, character versus nature, character versus society, and character here in the internal conflict, character versus self. Mm -hmm. And actually, I have this uh, story in mind about character versus self. If you have heard about it, it's in Arabic, al garima al aqab yeah, sure. Uh, yes, this is a Russian uh, the story. Yes, by Dostoevsky. Mm -hmm. And it was all about the conflict of the character uh -huh. with himself. With crime, himself. crime and punishment. Yes, it's crime and punishment, exactly the translation. And it was totally between the character and himself. Yeah. He wanted to say something. Uh, to one of the masterpieces yes. of Russian literature. Yeah, classical, of course, one mm -hmm. of the best classicals. So, this is a conflict. And you talked about the point of view. I will get another. And this will call first person point of view. The character from the story is telling the story. And this could be using I, me. So, I'm telling my story. Mm -hmm. This could be first person. Or I'm talking about someone else. So, I'll say he or she or they. This is third person point of view. Yeah. The theme, as we said, the central or general message, the main idea or the topic of the story, could it be love, mm -hmm. could it be happiness, could it be friendship, mm -hmm. good and evil, this yeah. is the theme. So many yes. different topics. Yes, mm -hmm. you can t talk about a lot of topics in the theme. And to know this theme, you have to read through all the story to know the message of the author. What does he want to say? Mm -hmm. And also, it's about the morale. Uh, and by the way, there's a kind of uh, stories called fables. Fables, fables. yeah. Mm -hmm. The fables uh, are told by uh, animals. animals yeah. Do you remember this, the fable about the tortoise and the rabbit? Yeah, sure. Yes. The tortoise and the rabbit. Yeah, yes. It's a very famous story when uh, uh, the tortoise uh, uh, go in a race. Yes, and know, who won uh, at the end? With the, with the rabbit. and she won. The, yeah. Yeah, the because, wins. yeah, and the morale was mm -hmm. that it is not to be lazy. Yeah, not to rush. Not to rush. Yeah. And also persistence, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay? Also the story of the lion and the yeah, mouse. The morale is haste makes waste. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. uh, haste makes waste. As yeah, and it's like in Arabic, in the Yeah, kind of, yes. Haste makes waste. Exactly. Something. You can get a lot of morals from it. So, fables are all about morals. So, this is the theme. Then, uh, we have again the resolution at the end, and everything ends in the story. Mm -hmm. And this is in brief elements of any story. If you would like to write one, mm -hmm. or while you are reading, this will help you a lot. In or at time. least, if you are reading something, you could understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. mm. Exactly. But uh, do you think that all writers uh, stick to these rules? Uh, modern writers don't, because sometimes they have kind of uh, experimental writing. Yani mm -hmm. yeah. Some they people believe in free writing, for yeah. example. Uh, I write whatever I like, I write the way I write. Uh, sometimes, yes. Sometimes uh, they skip or they forget the setting. Mm -hmm. uh, some writers don't mention the time. Mm -hmm. They leave it as open as this or they don't mention the place. Mm -hmm. But you have to put a character, I think, at least one character mm -hmm. to start a story. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's no climax and you find the story ends like this. But I guess a very good story uh, is when all the elements yes. of, this, uh, of this story are coherent. You know the word coherent. In a unit, harmony. Yeah. Yes, coherent means like organized, one unit, yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the best stories. Mm -hmm. But those uh, new ones that uh, skip uh, uh, elements of the story, they are nice. You know, that is why nice. everything about the past is better. And perhaps yes. that's past why they say old. old is gold. Uh, yeah. 
all this gold يعني كل ما هو قديم فهو يعني شيء قيم جدا all this gold I agree especially what concerns culture uh, you know and this is in all places you know I mean talking about uh, uh, for example English literature you know the best uh, uh, or the masterpieces of English literature are the classics exactly you know yes and here as well yes okay our old stories are classics, the mm -hmm. classics are great, of course, and we keep Nadine reading Mahfouz, them. Nadim Mahfouz, you know, those people, where are they now? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we have to read some of, the, uh, of their works, of course. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so uh, this is really uh, interesting. Uh, we've learned a lot of things, uh, but do you think that, uh, you know, uh, story writing, uh, can be taught yeah. or it's like a talent it is a talent but it can be taught mm -hmm. because uh, like for example in painting mm -hmm. uh, it could be taught how to paint but what gives uh, the talent uh, its uh, value when you create mm -hmm. when you start expressing new ideas but if you tell me a portrait painting Anybody can draw a portrait for yourself, yeah. for example, uh, because it is taught lines and shades and everything. So yes, anybody can draw a portrait mm -hmm. if, if he learned how to paint. I guess you have to have the talent first and then you can start, uh, you know, to enhance your creativity, creativity or yes. ability to write by learning these rules. But I, I guess you cannot just learn the rules and start writing. You have to have the talent. Because it's not easy yes. to write a story. It's not. You can follow only the steps, but it won't have a spirit, the flash mm -hmm. it, You can write a story. I can write, anybody can write a story, but the spirit, it will, no spirit, no creativity, mm -hmm. but it's still a story. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Kind of uh, elements, okay, setting, characters, blood, uh, climax, so and so and so, but no spirit, mm -hmm. no taste. Mm -hmm. And this is what gives uh, art of works the value, the taste, or the spirit itself. Yeah, have you ever written a story? I always write, I'm a writer. You're a writer, you write yeah, stories. Yes, yeah. I do. What kind of stories do you Short write? Short stories. Short stories. Yes. You know, the hardest, they are the hardest, I guess. They are. No, actually, I consider the, um, the novels are the Why? Hardest. Because, as I said, the, the elements, uh, are, you know, I mean, you should never repeat anything. Every single word you yes. write in a short story yes. must have some significance. Yeah, I like short stories. The novels are kind of irritating for me because I have a short breath. I can't follow <laughs> yeah. all the details. But I guess, but I guess, you, 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 I mean, do you sometimes wonder how could a person like write all this big story? Because it's really amazing. It takes time. Mm. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time and yes. it, you know, you feel that this person is a genius. Yes, exactly, of course. Mm -hmm. Writing novels is kind of genius work because you have to live uh, all of the events mm -hmm. and write details and try your best not to get the reader bored. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it's a very high talent, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this is really uh, interesting. <laughs> We've learned a lot about... Uh, and I hear, I, I say, if anybody of our... The yeah, audience uh, would like to write a story and send to you or to be uh, on our page. We can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I, I, always, I always forget opinion. to talk about our yes. our uh, our group. We have a group uh, called Barnamig uh, yeah. Al You can try uh, to join us uh, in this group and uh, always uh, contact us uh, through this group. Tell us about uh, anything. Uh, uh, tell us about your opinion, uh, anything that you'd like to know, anything you'd like to include in the program. We'll be very uh, pleased to, uh, you know, receive your uh, suggestions. Yes. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much, you, Ms. Yes. Heba, for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that uh, brings us to the end of this episode, uh, dear viewers. Uh, until we meet you again, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.